Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding Classic Afterbirth. We are going to try to knock out a little Keeper stuff today. Keeper Sutherland. The Keeper's it! Wow, once we get the Keeper stuff done, we're done? That's surprising to me. So we have Mega Satan and Dark Room. I don't think we should try to make them both... Oh, because of... Uh... Oh, this is good. Because of an Eden's Blessing run I had recently, I think with uh, on a race with Mathis, I actually have Nun's Habit to start, which actually seems like it would be awesome with um, Wooden Nickel. So let's give this one a try. You saw the seed right there. Uh, previously, I was going to start until I or restart until I started with like a good item next to us, but it seems like um, this is probably one of the better combinations of items we could really expect, considering that every time we get hit, we're actually going to be able to use Wooden Nickel. So uh, again. On this run, do you try for Mega Satan, or do you try for the Dark Room? Or possibly both. I mean, I guess with the Keeper, we could technically do Self-Sacrifice Room, so we shouldn't rule out, uh, you know, a, a Mega Satan fight. But I'll probably just try for the Dark Room stuff. Yeah, Mom's Contact is pretty good, too. Because the, uh, the uh, non-Dark Room stuff can happen at any point, right? Like, not to say that it's easier, but the Dark Room stuff we sort of have to force... The non-dark room stuff I don't think we do. At least not with anybody but the lost. We can find a self-sacrifice room. There's a, you know, non-zero chance of getting like a, um, a get out of jail free card or something like that, or just finding dad's key, but yeah, okay. I, I like this idea. I really like the idea of us already powerful. Every time we get hit, we have a chance to generate another coin, which could replace the HP that we lost, even though I'm being a little bit not too diligent about it right now. Um, I think this could potentially lead to great things for us. Can't say for certain, of course. It would be really awesome to get Swallowed Penny along with this. That's not our secret room, which is very disappointing because there's a huge opportunity cost uh, to be paid as the Keeper every time you use a bomb that could have been used on a pot to possibly find Swallowed Penny. Because Swallowed Penny may be like, the closest thing towards a game winner that you can get. So I think what we should do is probably uh, save our wooden nickel until we actually enter the room that way we get the nickel or the the penny or whatever it would be on the room to serve as HP if necessary so we got to tweak our play just a little bit it has been a little while since I played as the keeper so uh, you know forgive me it might take me a minute to get back into fighting shape here basically I feel like this also gives us like possibly an outrageous benefit on blood banks maybe you gotta start by using Wooden Nickel, by the way, because uh, it gives us the ability to actually take advantage of the fact that we have Nun's Habit. So, like, that's a no-brainer. We use it as soon as we enter the room. We're done with this fight. Oh, it's a double floor, so we're looking for another, uh, another item room. Did I take Red Heart damage? I don't think I took red heart damage. Well, I mean, it's not red heart damage, but I don't think I took uh, coin damage, which would actually remove our chances for a deal with the devil. So hopefully this is HP. We can take a one heart deal with the devil and then get some HP from this point onward. It's speed. Hmm. I think you sort of have to feel like contract from below might actually be worth it. I know that it's a huge risk to take on right now. And maybe we should have left Magic Mush just in case this situation presented itself. Might as well use this. I mean, we don't have the ability to come back from this. Um, but I think that the ability to get double drops is actually worth it. But I'll admit that it, it looks a little dicey right here. I would really like to get HP as soon as possible. I mean, I'm sure from a lot of people's perspective, it looks like I keep making the same mistake by taking these Devil Deals. I really feel like getting that precedent could be valuable enough to warrant it. Uh, I almost honestly want to buy Mom's coin purse for the chance of uh, the chance of picking up maybe uh, an HP up. Balls of Steel wouldn't do it for us, unfortunately. Well, we have no choice. But Cricket's body is pretty good. If I could choose, I'd probably take Cricket's body. But I really like both of those items. I guess we would have gotten a little closer to the fungi transformation. Uh, if we'd taken Skinny Odd Mushroom, but we didn't have a choice in the matter. And Cricket's Body is very, very good as well, and I would say arguably more fun, too. So, uh, I did use Wooden Nickel. We got to 5 cents, which gives us a chance to get a Blood Bank on the next floor, which could synergize very, very nicely with what we got going on already. 
or it could ruin us. I don't know. I'm trying to see the map. I forgot the map key. That's embarrassing. Um, just keep yourself back here. I never know which one of these shots are the enemies, which ones are mine. That's a good opportunity to use a bomb. So we're trying to find our item room as quickly as possible to maybe, just maybe, nope, <laughs> yeah, a little dangerous. Maybe, just maybe, snag a, a quick HP upgrade somehow. I don't think it's really worth going to the uh, the shop right now. I mean, we have the keys for it, and I guess we've got money as well. But I, I sort of don't see what we'd be hoping for. So I'm going to hang back for now. Uh, this could be our way to the boss fight, which would not be terrible, maybe. And, oh man, if we could just pick up like nine lives, I'd be so happy. Remove, oh, that's pretty good too. Remove like this fear of death from myself. We're at 13 cents. We are going to be able to fight the boss. Don't walk on the creep. Kill him before. No! Oh, I made like a ballsy dodge and ate shit on it. God damn it, that run was so good. Oh, okay, we'll restart. That was, that was dumb. I, was it worth it for Contrary from below? Not if we can't get our HP back immediately. Uh, marked is just like a hot trash item. I feel so stupid right now. And I should feel stupid. So you know what? Maybe we will try to make deals with the angel work right away. Maybe we can get Mega Satan and Darkroom done anyway because we don't want to take deals with the devil unless they're truly incredible. Curse of the Tower is like just the, is the curse of your own demise here. So we're just restarting, we're holding R until we get a half-decent item. Experimental treatment is arguable. If it gave us an awesome, you know, roll of the dice, basically, of course it also contributes towards spun. I don't think that uncertainty is worth it. Well, I'm going through a lot of hoops here to try to get something better than that. And it fell on our face. Okay, Curse of Darkness. No, not quite good enough. Unicorn Stump. Kind of interesting, but without a guaranteed pickup, not that good. Scapular might be game winning. I don't know, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to have to use my brain. <laughs> I just want it to be better. Seraphim is also pretty okay. It gives you a lot of damage from a familiar that just doesn't shoot that much. Um, I will. I will do one here. I promise. It's just not. Uh, not in the cards for us immediately. Just any, like, tiers or damage upgrade is almost going to be good enough for me to take right off the bat. What do you got for me? Uh, homing bombs. You know what? Let's take homing bombs. And then our goal will be to crack open a pot. It is burning basement. Our goal will be to crack open a pot and get uh, Swallowed Penny. If we get Swallowed Penny, we're in a great situation. Room very nearly killed us right off the bat. But it didn't. Yes, it did. <laughs> it basically did. All right. Uh, Virgo, I don't think is worth it. I guess maybe not good enough to start with homing bombs. Kind of a, a best laid plan there. Curse of the Labyrinth could be good. The Relic uh, basically gives us flies once every four rooms. That's like a passive guppy's head that's four times less effective. SMB Superfan is the worst of all of the, the all stats upgrades, if I remember correctly. But it is an all stats upgrade. Should have used that before. And fruitcake can be so good or kind of ruin your life. I'm gonna operate under the principle that the game is trying to be good to me right now. It hasn't given me like terrible pickups yet, necessarily at least. Small Rock is really good as well. Maybe we find, wow, that was very bad of me. Maybe we find that we get a uh, deal with the devil here that is actually worth it. Or a good opportunity to ignore it and pick up deals with the angel in the future. I don't know which one I'd prefer, honestly. Because we could do a self-sacrifice room setup, but it's probably a little easier to get the... Um, to take the angel route, I guess. I know I said exactly the opposite of that earlier. I really did not think we were going to make it. I think we made it just in time, basically. Like, I... I fired one shot that managed to hit an enemy the right way, and that saved us from complete and utter despair. Well, lucky us. And by lucky us, I of course mean we're a little unlucky based on the fact that we can't seem to get a coin out of wooden nickel if our life depends on it, which it like literally does, but... 
Not too salty, you know? We did start with an amazingly good Eden's Blessing pickup, so... You know, that luck... My good luck, I've already eroded. I already shat on my good luck. So now we gotta make it work with... Possibly not so good luck. Well, I do love... Picking up a Cuba meat. Not the be-all end-all uh, on a character like the Keeper, where we don't want to get too close to enemies to begin with, but certainly not bad. And would you look at that? We actually get our coin back. Uh, we shouldn't get a deal with the Devil here, because I did take the equivalent of red heart damage. Oh, I whiffed. I whiffed so bad. Yeah, we just get HP instead, which we might as well take, I guess. Down to the next floor, and, you know, just keep rolling with it. It's looking fine for now. Let's try. Okay. Um, so, in the future, when I'm playing the Keeper, good to keep in mind that uh, you can just get a random Head of the Keeper from Golden Chess. We also have Cricket's Body. No, we don't have Cricket's Body. We have Fruitcake Masquerading as Cricket's Body. Uh, so we could potentially get a lot more coins than I would have even originally anticipated, depending on what our Fruitcake effects are. Uh, we should be safe. I'm, I'm being way too cocky. If there's more than one, like, difficult enemy left on the room, don't pick up the coin. You know, you only need one shitty situation to happen to ruin it. You only need one, like, fruitcake hit to, to ruin your life, basically. You know, we're getting a lot of, a lot of bombs in there. We should be able to generate a ton of coins as a result of this, but... Oh my fuck. Come on. Really? Explosiva will do it one way or the other. Okay, we have a lot of keys remaining inside of our shop. We get... Oh, Polyphemus. Okay, so we got super huge Head of the Keeper tiers. This is a real good start. Good. Balls of Steel there. Not a Balls of Steel pill, no, but... Uh, I had Balls of Steel to just kind of tough that one out, I think. Should be using that on the rooms we come across. Uh, no Tinted Rock that I can see. We got no bombs anyway. Good. Good, but stupid. Don't do that again. Alright. Start getting in the habit of popping it as you enter the room, not as you leave the room. Because you want that coin to be available in case you find yourself falling into harm's way. We should buy a bomb, because there is a chance I think we can get it. Okay, we don't need to buy a bomb anymore. Which means I'll probably just save my key. But I thought there was a chance that we could go to our uh, angel room on this floor. Even though we didn't get a deal with the devil on the last floor, I thought it was like a theoretical possibility. That thing is going to just annoy me. Oh, never mind. It went off at exactly the right time. Okay, pop it. Watch out for exploding shots. I didn't mean to pick up that coin, actually. I didn't see it. Even though I created it, I forgot about it. It's a metaphor for terrible parenthood there. Good, good, good. One more. We're safe. No crampo. It's a deal with the devil. You know, honestly, call uh, or Thame in this case is not that good. Like, I think we can totally get away with not taking it. As we head down to the next floor, and the reason, the only reason we wouldn't take it is to give ourselves a better deal with the Angel Chance, so. Um, oh, you know, now I realize, no, there is a way that we could do, we could accomplish Mega Satan and uh, the Dark Room at the same time. Oh, don't get in the habit of doing it at the end of the room, you gotta do it at the start of the room. As the Keeper, at least. After you finish this Keeper shit, you can do it however you want, forever and ever. But, um, we just beat the Lamb and then walk out, basically. And then go fight, uh... Go fight the Mega Satan. The Mega Satan. You've heard of him. Nah, Super Magnet is not what I want. I feel like we can't go wrong playing the Blood or the IV. Sorry, the Blood uh, Bank. But why risk it? Is kind of my opinion of it. We're in an okay situation, and it doesn't really stand to generate too much for us, except a lot of coins we can use on the shop. We're not really having too much trouble with that as is, you know? Like, we, we got a pretty nice financial situation going here. Liberty Cap is our first worthwhile trinket, I think. 
Litter Bombs doesn't give us anything yet, but, you know, you can see the situation. We blow up the Angel statue, and then we get a, uh, a penny out of it that gives us some more HP in case things become difficult. Unfortunately, we can't really justify taking any of this because we have to stick with our current space bar item to have a reasonable chance of continuing to succeed. Um, you might be able to say, like, hey, go for it and try to get, like, a uh, Swallowed Penny out of it. And that's not wrong. It's not. That was very dumb of me. And probably just cost me a chance to deal with the angel. What was I thinking on that one? We were like two rooms away from the boss room. That was a momentary lapse of judgment that uh, could cost me a Mega Satan chance. Hopefully it doesn't. To be honest with you, because we got one on our last floor, it was relatively low likelihood that we were going to get one on this floor anyway, so I shouldn't beat myself up too much, but it was also completely stupid and preventable, so... You know, you gotta give yourself every available uh, advantage if you wanna... knock that Mega Satan stuff out of the way as soon as possible. I hate this version of Mega Fatty. And... Phew, we didn't get hit. Good. We're hoping for Holy Light, even more so than, than Godhead. One Holy Light shot, I think, is more valuable than one Godhead shot. Don't die on the Mega Fatty fight. Good. Don't do your jump. Your jump, it's, it's out of style, man. Oh, God. We lived. Range plus tears? A tears upgrade is pretty big. We'll head down to the next floor. <laughs> Not doing our Swallowed Penny plan. We're on Dank Depths 1. No map. All right, there is a coin, but I don't want to risk it. Man, the real problem with the Keeper... Well, there's two real problems. One is never being able to get over 2 HP. The other one... Uh, uh, maybe? It does make our shots more likely to hit, I guess. Um, the other one, as I see it at least, is that... Um, I have to get deals with the devil without getting hit. Like, there's no spirit heart protection that we can call on to help ourselves out. So, unfortunately, it, it all becomes a measure of our own personal skill. Which can sometimes be called into question a little bit. I'm calling it into question for some of the dumb decisions I've made here. That tears upgrade is so huge. One makes you small, pretty great. That totally worked. Trying to find the item room. Uh, you know, on a Curse of the Unknown floor, I would probably skip... Not Curse of the Unknown, but Curse of the uh, Lost. I would probably skip our item room to just go directly to the shop. Or directly to the, the boss fight. Too much Isaac today. Brain melting. Please, pop up. Pop up. I, I was going to say, I guess I just lose then. We Actually, now that I think about it, we have to do boss rush as the keeper as well. And this might be the right time to try it. Because we do... Oh, I mean, we have decent damage. Oh my god, we also have an angel statue action. What is it? Scapular. At least we have our extra co extra two coins thanks to glitter bombs. The dreams come true. No! Not the purple fires, man. Give me the coin! Oh my god, we made it. Okay. Let's head downwards. We're gonna skip our item room. I'm a little scared. Now I'm like, don't do boss rush because you have a good chance to dry the Mega Satan stuff. So let's try the Mega Satan stuff. I think. <laughs> oh, one makes you larger. You know, it could be worse, I guess. Um, if I could take an item from boss rush, I would love to. So let's throw down a bomb, see if maybe we get a card or something. Nope. Check back on that later, maybe. Probably better places to try it. So happy we're one-shotting these guys. Could really use some speed, honestly. I think there's a cat trying to get into my room. Hello? Hey, Ruka. Come on in, buddy. I am going to close the door behind you. They always leave your butt in the door, so I have to close it, like, wait for your tail to come in before you do it, you little joker can't have it both ways. Well, this is obviously the room to try for a, um, try for some kind of teleport card. 
It's also the room that I like almost always get hit on. Oh, sweet, thank you, awesome. There goes our best chance probably at a deal with the angel piece, but. It's okay, death card. If we accomplished anything on this run, I'd feel pretty good. Got five, that's also pretty good. The moon and Ansus. Pop Ansus, use the death card on this room. Life's good. Carry the moon. Oh, now you wanna get out? You wanna exit now? I see how it is, it's too hot in here. I feel you, dude, 29C right now. 29 times the speed of light. Double key, see what we got. Not re-rolling my whole run is not the, it's not that kind of show. Another moon card. The moon right now is to teleport us out of the, uh, out of boss rush if it wasn't clear. I may also decide to do boss rush. I know, it's, it's risky. But we get to, you know, get a lot of pennies from Head of the Keeper, hopefully. A lot of pennies from, from Wooden Nickel. Hopefully, at least, you know, 50% of the time, at least. Um, and then just, our damage is probably good enough to try it. And I have to imagine maybe this is one of those things where, you know, boss rush is the hardest. And if boss rush is the hardest of all of the, like, outcomes, we'd like to knock it out on a run where we feel pretty darn powerful. Homing bombs, I mean, sure, homing glitter bombs, whatever. But, I guess if things get really tough and we know we're gonna die, we could always teleport out. And then, give it a second try or just not, just, just bounce. Uh, the other option is to take in a devil card, which would give us a better chance to, you know, do the whole fight properly in the first place, but... Um, it's, it's a bit of a, a give and take, no doubt. Might as well get blue map. Uh, why not try the coin purse? Put ourselves in, uh, at the game's whim. One speed down is actually fucking horrible. A tears upgrade, and I was ready to... I was content to be like, we got it! But no, we do not got it. We are so slow. Oh, this is bad. I need to speed up more than more than anything. <laughs> more than more than brimstone. I'll take uh you know the the belt over brimstone right now. Belt over brimstone. Yeah. Don't take the pills unless you're prepared to spill. You'll get a speed down. No, I'm not ready. It hit us. Yeah, our battery charge. Yeah, good. Good luck. All right, what is even going on at this point? A uh, goat head. That's so good. Speed up, please. As I found pills. Speed up, please. Perks also great. Um, I still don't think we take Yara. I mean, I think we take the moon. We got to do dark room. So that's another thing. Keep in mind, you're not taking the Polaroid. We're taking um, the negative. So Yara doesn't do too much for us. So we will be able to fight the angel statue. That's that's a big deal. We also have a coin available to us here. We can fire so quickly. We do have to worry about like exploding tears and stuff like that, but being able to fire so quickly is so nice with this amount of damage that we have. We're done, I think. Yeah. Taking the negative. It's a deal with the devil. Pardon me. I have a key piece. How is how, how is such a thing even possible? You know what? I think we try to make boss rush happen. Don't take that by accident. I think we try to knock it all out at once. We got undefined. That's our choice. We can't take it. Most important thing here, keep using... That's fine. Most important thing here, keep using wooden nickel every single wave. You're gonna, you're gonna accrue some pennies. You're gonna wanna accrue some pennies at least. You want them all around the map because there's going to be times we're not going to want to dodge. This is one of them. Unfortunately, I have no choice. He is dead. We've lived and we've created another coin in our image. Gotten really good luck on those so far. We're hidden, man. He's dead. Explosivo. 
Oh yes, more coins. Also more bullshit enemies that can just shoot one beam and ruin our lives. No! I walked on the coin! Oh, that's so disappointing. Well, for now, thanks for watching. I threw away a pretty good run there. I thought I was on the coin, but I guess I was slightly off. I'm not going to blame the hitbox. That's on me. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.